Hello everyone. This is Moses from Out There Gardens. I'm going to be talking about my ultra dwarf or super dwarf burgundy plum tree. I'm just so amazed by it. I'm kneeling down right now because it's only about six feet tall or less. That's all it really grows. Um, I'm just so amazed at how productive this little tree is and also how delicious the fruit is. Um, it just kept producing and producing. Some of my earliest videos is about this tree. Um, I'm just so impressed by it. I'm going to show you something really cool, a few things actually that are really cool, and I'm going to show you how I got these results as well uh, to help all of you out because I want everybody to succeed that has been watching my videos, and I've gotten too many questions in the past about how I am producing the way I am. First and foremost, it is the garden soil. And that's a fake snake right here, by the way, to keep away critters. Um, I have been working years and years and years on my garden soil to try to emulate or mimic the forest floor. So underneath this tree, I believe I put about a foot deep of wood chips and seaweed from the ocean and other things like that to build the soil up. So at one time, it used to be hard to dig with my with a shovel, now I could just dig it with my hand easily. So now I'm standing. The tree is about this tall right here, a little bit spindly on the top, but this is about as high as it is. So it's about five feet tall right now. And these go up to about six, seven feet, but I'm gonna trim them all the way down to about four feet tall for the winter. You can see where my last winter prune was right here at around four feet. But I'm gonna show you right now the production on this. It's insane. Let me show you. It's gonna be hard for me to do it with one hand because it's really heavy. I don't know. I didn't weigh it, but I know it's hundreds of plums. Look at this. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. But look how many plums. Darn it. Look how many plums came off of this fruit tree. Now, what's really amazing about this, let me get that plum. What's really amazing, and I thought about this right before I hit record, was, um, hey, Lulu. Oh, it burst open. Oh, well, I'm still going to eat it. What I'm going to stop digging, Lulu. What I was really amazed at is that all these limbs were full of fruit, and they're all hanging like this, all of them, and not one branch broke. What a trooper. I'll have like this nectarine is the branches tipping down and I'm worried about if it's going to crack and break because it's done that before. But this burgundy plum, the super dwarf burgundy plum just wants to please. It's amazing. So I'm going to show you the products I use in uh, making sure that this tree is healthy and it performed as best as it could and it flowered so immensely every year I've planted it. And I'll link uh, a video in the screen right now showing you a previous video of the production when me and my son and Lulu were on the floor videotaping on our back, pretty much. So the first product I use is from Kellogg Garden Organics, Organic Plus Fish and Kelp Fertilizer with Molasses. I use about a cap full per gallon of water in my tank sprayer. So I have a two gallon tank sprayer, so I use two capfuls. And I also use this soap, hand soap. Um, and uh, it really does help adhere the fertilizer to the trees. So I love this brand of uh, soap. Uh, Mrs. Mayers, I believe has how you pronounce it, but I love this brand of soap. So this is, this is my soap to go outside. So I'm, no one from inside can take this to the bathroom. <laughs> But yeah, so with these products, hey Lulu, and some other ones that I've used in the past, but these are the main ones. I've never had this much production until I started using this combination once a week, maybe once every two weeks. And just spraying the leaves on the top and on the bottom with this combination has been amazing. Now, I don't know how much this weighs, like I said, but uh, all that came from this little tree. Happy gardening, everyone. Okay, like, share, subscribe, and, and thanks for watching.
watching everyone.